You're saying that you will First chapter of Ezekiel. Go back and read it. You'll think you're on acid or something. All right, let's see it. And realize, too, it's the King James translation. He translated it from Aramaic, I believe. I'm sure somebody's going to correct me on that. I'm not a biblical philosopher. I just read. The uh, book of Ezekiel was written in Hebrew, not Aramaic. Yeah, it's in there, and it talks about a visitor coming down. It describes the craft. It describes the landing gear. In some translations, like a traditional pad that comes out, like you've seen in the science fiction movies. So this has absolutely nothing to do with UFOs. And the first chapter of Ezekiel is responding to a particular problem of the Judahites that are exiled in Babylon. And their problem is they cannot access their patron deity, Adonai, who is only accessible in the temple in Jerusalem in the land of Israel, which is the only territory over which the patron deity of Israel has sovereignty. And so Ezekiel's solution is this apocalyptic vision where God's throne becomes mobilized by these bizarre living wheels that hold up a platform on which God's throne sits. In the temple in Jerusalem, God's throne is basically the Ark of the Covenant and the cherubim. And so what Ezekiel does is say, we're going to mobilize it, we're going to give it wheels, and it's going to come visit Ezekiel in Babylon. And the vision is, is bizarre because he can't really describe what God looks like. It is from the what looked like the loins up. It was shiny and glowing and all this kind of stuff. So he is hedging the description so it sounds like he can describe God but didn't actually see God directly. But again, it has absolutely nothing at all to do with UFOs. And the fit for this video has been Deadpool.